What is the defund the police uh, movement? What does it mean? What are they really getting at? Are they abolishing the police or just changing the budget? What do they mean? I, I mean, I really wish they'd rename that. I mean, if you're talking about marketing, you know what I mean? That's just a bad, you know, uh, marketing. Uh, because really what it's saying is, and I think the police would agree with this, what it means is, look, we, we, are fun we expect our police to do everything. You know, if, if you have a problem with, with a drug addict, you call the police, right, instead of a, a special counselor or, or a drug addiction counselor. If you have a problem um, with, you know, domestic dispute that could be resolved by, I'm not talking about domestic violence, but domestic, um, you know, arguing, something like that, that could be in, in, involved in some type of counseling or uh, mental health, right? Uh, uh, all these things, homelessness, all these problems that, that, that we call the police for. And what it's saying is let's take some of the funds that, that we give police and fund these other things so that they, what they do is address crime, which is what they're supposed to do. But when you have them out there coaching uh, teams and, and doing all these things uh, because there's not enough funds for other things to happen uh, and coming out and, and, and just, I mean, some of the most ridiculous things, you know, getting cats out of trees or calling them, I mean, um, and so that's what it means. It means, look, let's have our police. We're, we're asking too much of them. We're asking way too much of them. Yeah, and uh, locally here in Hawaii, I know it's a different sort of jurisdiction, but I participated in the protests on Saturday, and thank God we had police. I want them funded. That's my personal view that I'm sticking into this because they helped direct the traffic, make sure that the protesters can get from point A to point B, Nobody was like really disrespectful to anybody else. And I reached out to some of my contacts. And as I told you earlier, um, those agencies were ready just in case something went down, like the rioting things that happen sometimes when you have agitators inputted into a protest for somebody's weird purpose to like cause anarchy or whatever their stance is. But I felt safe. I felt protected. And of course, we want police, but then. The key thing is, and what I want to redirect back to, is in the arrest process, I think that when, if you're keeping your eye on the prize, it's about people being detained of all colors, people being detained in a safe manner and not sustaining an injury that leads to their death or having a knee or some sort of pressure put on top of them that directly leads to their death. 